Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to discuss how to create a pie chart by hand. Um, most of the time this would be done using technology just because creating a pie chart by hand um, it's very hard to get it exact unless you pull out a protractor and you convert it to the correct angle degree and all of that. So um, it's just going to be a rough sketch. I did use technology to help me to draw a better circle than I can by hand. Um, so what we're going to do is um, talk about how you would do this by hand. The first thing that you want to do is you want to find the sum of all of your frequencies. Okay, and the sum of this column happens to be 1,000. I already know that. Um, there were 1,000 people sampled. And then you want to find your relative frequency for each of them. And your relative frequency, remember, is this right here is the frequency divided by the number in your sample, where this is the number in your sample. Um, so I would take 40 divided by 1,000, which ends up giving me 0 0.04, or approximately 4%. Um, 50 or 570 divided by 1,000 is 0.57, or 57%. 180 divided by 1,000 is 18%, or 0.18. And then 210 is 0 0.210. Um, when I am creating these by hand, what I do is I tend to start with the largest one. Um, it just makes it the easiest. So the largest one is 0.57. So if I were to break this up, you could, if you wanted to be exact, you could multiply each of these by 360 to get the exact angle measurement. Um, but again, that's really just a matter of preference. So 57% is a little bit more than halfway. So I would just draw this a little bit more than halfway and I would shade this portion in because it's a little bit more than half of a circle. And you always want to label it with what it is. So this part right here is 0.57 or 57% and it represents those with eyeglasses. Okay, um, and you also want to make sure that you include a title. I forgot to put that on here that this is the type of lenses. Okay, um, the next one that I would go with is 21%. 21% um, would give us almost a quarter of a circle. So I'm going to go here and just approximate 21%. And really, hold on one second, let me erase that one. I don't like where I drew that at. Um, if I go exactly, because the 0 0.04 and the 0.21 is exactly 25%, so if I do exactly a quarter of a circle here, that would give me the 25% that's there. And then if I just kind of break off a little piece, because 4% is not very much, and then I would color this in and say that this is 0.21, and this would represent the none. This small sliver right here, that's 4%, is just contacts. And then the last piece that is 18%, and again, this is just a rough sketch. It's much better to do it with technology. It will um, shade it in and give you the exact measurements much more accurately than you can by eyeballing it. So this would be 0.18 and this is both. So by labeling it, anybody looking at it can see that about 4% or the smallest portion were just contacts. 57% um, of this particular sample um, wear eyeglasses, 21% don't wear either, and then 18% use both. As always, thanks for watching. Um, I will have, or I do have another video that shows you how to do this in the TI Inspire. Um, like I said, most of the time you would use programs like Excel or um, any statistical software program would be able to draw a pie chart for you. And this is always used for categorical data or qualitative data only where you're talking about the percent that falls into each category. As always, thanks for watching.